So check that. Ah, uh, you can't see. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. So here are the MOSFETs in our Komui power. Check that one. Check that MOSFET. You can see it red. Now I'm taking the power. Coming with the power again. You can see it is red on the camera, on the thermal camera. Okay, that's bad. Because uh, because uh, I don't think I have that MOSFET. So I can see four MOSFETs there, yeah? I just try to spot the, the right MOSFET. Is the number two, you can see it? So this MOSFET. Oh, but someone work here. So one more time. It's still hot. Uh, one more time. Come with the power. Coming with the power. And you can see the MOSFET is getting very, very hot. I mean, the camera is seeing this MOSFET hot. But it actually is not even warm. So that's how sensitive it's a thermal camera. Hello, so we are back. But this time, let's learn how we can uh, diagnose a faulty processor. So what do we have here? We have two boards, yeah? So actually, I diagnosed a board. The customer bought another board. And, uh, you know, when it's a faulty processor, you can't really do anything. So let's see how we can figure it out if it's a processor issue or not. Now, in the beginning, you will believe, on the first, you will believe the laptop is not coming on, but you are wrong. So actually, this board, it is coming on, but with no picture on the screen. How this board died? Actually, a, a MOSFET blow up. The MOSFET was not here, was here. So I move it because uh, this processor has two V cores, yeah? But this one is the primary one. The secondary, when you, when you use turbo, when the processor goes on like a turbo mode, that power rail, it will come up. So I swap the MOSFET just to see if the driver is still good and if the processor it will start working, but actually not. Now, three ways to test a processor, okay? This is a Dell uh, Inspiron 15, 7, uh, 15 inch, 755, uh, 7559. Okay, it's a nice uh, Dell gaming laptop. We have a processor, an Intel 6th uh, generation. It's quite good, even now. Okay, so let's see. First, you can diagnose a processor with a multimeter. That's the easiest way. We're getting the multimeter, home range. Now, let's check the faulty one. Okay, the faulty one, we have the first V-Core. You can see, not sure if you can see, sorry. Let me zoom it just to understand what's going on here. So as you can see on the on the screen, you can clearly spot you have two trucks, big trucks, this one and this one. Yeah, two separate uh, V cores. So this is the primary one. Yeah, this is present from the moment you start the laptop and has three coils. You can see three coils. And the second one, yeah, which has no voltage till the moment, actually the processor needs more, more processing power, is the second one. Now let's check the, the resistance on the first uh, V-core. So the resistance to the ground is 0 0.9 ohms. 0 0.8, you can see on the screen, low. Now on the, on the good board, Let's see on the good board. Ground here, and we have 4.4 ohms, a difference. Now the next one, on the good one, has 7.7 .7 ohms. Now on the bad one, we have 5.5 ohms. So uh, you can't really 
check just by this, okay, has uh, five ohms is faulty or not, because each processor is different. But if you check on this one, this one was, was with the blow up MOSFET, I mean, like 0 0.7 ohms, it's a little bit too low. I mean, this should start questioning, you know, about, uh, about the, the processor can bring some questions, you know, like, I mean, the resistance is too low. Now, the next way to check a processor, with the power supply, we set up like 0 0.7 volts, ground, and we have plus, and it's taking with 0 0.7 volts, 1.3 amps, yeah? Now, on the good one, this is the good one, and it's taking like 0 0.8. So the current is lower. But the best way to check uh, a processor is with a thermal camera. Thermal camera and with a power supply. And I will show you why. A healthy processor, it will always hit uniform. Let me plug my uh, my thermal camera. Good. Now, let me get the power supply. So this is the good board. This is the good one. So ground. We can get ground from anywhere. And plus. And we, sh we should pay attention on how the processor is heating, on the heating signature from the processor. And you can see the processor on the thermal camera. Now I will come with the voltage. And you can see the processor is heating like kind of uniform. I mean, the whole capsule should hit uniform, kind of, okay? It's like half. Now on the faulty one, let's get the faulty one. Uh, where is the processor? It's here. On the faulty one, you can see on, off, on, off. It's exactly on one spot. I can't zoom it more. Hmm. So one more time. On, off. On, off. You can clearly see the heat is coming from one spot, probably where are, the, where are sh shorted the transistors inside of the processor. So this processor is partial shorted. Yeah, it's not fully shorted. Remember, one V-core, which we have like 5 ohms, looks good. But with a thermal camera, you can clearly see the heat is coming like a burst from a single point. Okay, so that's how you check to find out if your processor is shorted. Uh... Usually, when you have a when you have a blow up, blow up MOSFET, you always should ask, you know, what about my processor? My processor is still alive. That's why you know a thermal camera, a power supply, just to check, is coming handy. Now I'll put back the good board onto the laptop and test it. Okay, so the board, it's inside of the laptop. Of course, the board, the, the new board, where the customer bought it. Let's power up. We have here the power button. Yeah, and we have pictures. And the laptop is working fine. Okay. So, uh, this is just a short video about, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you can't fix everything. And sometimes we just have to stop, like, how we, how we said, you know, about the, our limitation. You can't really replace the processor. So even if you find it, actually it's a very hard job to replace the processor. 
Uh, I even had to say no today on a chipset replacement just because, you know, you, you need better tools. And you need a little bit of experience replacing big chips. Okay? Now, uh, that's all for today. It's just, you know, a short video. Maybe you'll uh, try to diagnose on some point a processor on a motherboard. You, know, you never know. The, we always have like blow up MOSFETs on the, the processor uh, power rails. Okay, so I will stop now. This is just uh, you know a short video. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, see you on the next one. This time we have a happy customer. Bye.